Hi everyone, welcome to the chapter of electrical circuits. Again, while we're looking at these videos, make sure to try to solve them on your own first and then play the video and see how well you did. It's a lot better for you to solve it on your own than just, just watch me. So let's get on to this first one. The disk drive is a portable CD player. Uh, in a portable CD player, is connected to a battery that supplies it with a current of 0 0.22 amps. How many electrons pass through the drive in 4.5 seconds? So we can see this battery here. What it does is it provides, it pushes out these electrons that flow through this wire and goes through the CD player like this. So electrons go through this really, really fast, creating electricity. And we want to know how many electrons pass through it in 4.5 seconds. How we're going to be looking at this problem is we should know that the current is equal to the amount of charge over a given period of time. We know what the current is. It's 0 0.22 amps. We don't know how much charge goes through it. That's kind of what we want to find. But we want to find how much charge goes through it in 5.4.5 uh, seconds. One, okay, so now we put this into our calculators. 0.22 times 4.5. And we can see that we get 0 0.99 coulombs. Okay? But we want to now know what 0 0.99 coulombs is with, with electrons. We should know that one electron is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. So if that's the case, we should know that 0 0.99 coulombs over 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs is going to give us how many electrons that is. So let me put that into my calculator. 0 0.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. And we get 6 point one nine times ten to the eighteenth electrons. Okay? That's our answer there. Okay, that's a lot of electrons. So it and it's manageable because there's so many elect uh, electrons are so small, so many of it has to pass through it in order to power up the C D player, if you know what that is. Okay. Now let's look at this other problem. A light bulb that has a resistance of 200 ohms, so this has a resistance of 200 ohms, uh, is connected to a 9 volt battery. How much current goes through the light bulb? Okay, so again, this is what we're going to be looking at. This is our main equation here. Ohm's law, voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. Okay? So we know what the voltage is. That's from the battery. We don't know what the current is, but we do know that the resistance of the light bulb is 200 ohms. Now we can find what the current is, so 9 divided by 200, and we see that we have a current of 0 0.045 amps. Okay, So since that light bulb has a lot of resistance, that means it makes the current hard to make it flow through it. How many electrons has passed through the light bulb in 0 0.5 seconds? So this is very similar to the last question. Uh, we know that current is how much charge is moving through a given period of time. So we know what the current is. We know it's 0 0.045. We don't know how much charge there is, but we do know that we want to know how much charge there is in 0 0.5 seconds. So we can find that this is going to give us a charge of times 0.5. So this is going to give us a charge of 0 0.0225 coulombs. And again, we know one electron is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. So we could just divide this by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And then what we get is divided by 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. We get 1.4 times, oops, well, times 10 to the power of 17 electrons. Okay, so again, a lot of electrons. Electrons are very small, so to power anything, like light bulb, takes a lot of electrons to do that. Very, moving very quickly. Uh, now let's look at this example. Now we're going to be drawing circuits, and this is going to be very important for the rest of the chapter. Draw a circuit diagram, include a 60-volt battery, an ammeter, 
and a resistance of 12.5 ohms. Indicate the ammeter reading and the direction of the current. So, okay, so the battery, how it should look like, it should look like two lines like this. So this is gonna be our 60 volt battery. This is our wire going through like this, and we'll have our ammeter like reading right here. Okay, that's our ammeter. And it's gonna go through a resistance. This is what, how we're gonna draw the resistance. This is gonna be 12.5 ohms. And everything else, this, these straight lines here, this is the wiring that the electrons are gonna be flowing through. The current, so this longer side is the positive current, so it's gonna be past, the current's gonna be going through like that. That's gonna be the current. Okay, indicate the M reading ammeter of the current. So now we have to find what this I is. Again, we're gonna use our formula, V equals I R. We know the voltage 60. I, that's what we're looking for, resistance 12.5. And then this will give us an answer now of 60 divided by 12.5, 4.8 amps, okay? There's not as much resistance and more voltage, so that means that the current's gonna be moving a lot quicker. Okay, 4.8 amps. Or now it says draw a circuit diagram showing a 4.5 volt battery, a resistor, and a closed switch, and an ammeter that reads 8.5 amps. Determine the resistance, okay. So now what we have is, again, I'm gonna just draw a battery. This can be drawn differently, but it should have the same pretty much idea. 4.5 volts, this is the positive side. Uh, now we're gonna have an ammeter again. So this is the ammeter, and this is showing that this is 8.5 amps, okay? And now there's a resistor. Okay, so same thing like that, you have a resistor, and they want a closed switch. So I'm just gonna draw the closed switch like this. And we want to know what this resistance is equal to. Okay, so we should do V equals I R. We know the voltage again, 4.5. The We know the current, 8.5. The ammeter told us that. And now we have to find the resistance. So again, we're going to do 4.5 divided by 8.5. We get a resistance of 0 0.53 ohms. 0 0.53 ohms. And that's how we do the drawing. And this is important for the rest of the chapter. You're going to be drawing a lot of circuits like this. So now it says a 30 volt battery is connected to a 10 ohm resistor. So we have this resistor here, 10 ohm resistor. What is the current in the circuit? Okay. So I'm just going to kind of draw this out real quick. So this is 30 volts. There's a 10 ohm resistor. 10 ohms. And now we want to know what the current is. We want to know what this current is. Okay, so again, I'm just going to do V equals I R. 30 is equal to I, and we know the total resistance of this is 10. And then we know that current is equal to 3 amps. Okay. Part B, a motor with an operating resistance of 32 ohms is connected to a voltage source. The current in the circuit is 3.8 amps. What is the voltage? Okay, so now they're not really giving us so much. So we have this voltage source. We don't know what this is. We know that this is connected to a resistor that is 32 ohms. And we know that the, sorry, the current flowing through this is equal to 3.8 amps. Now we want to know what the voltage source is. So V equals I R. We know I, that's 3.8. We know R, that's 32. Now, if we put this into our calculator, 3.8 times 32, we should get 121.6 volts. So this is going to be equal to 121.6 volts. Okay. I'm sure you guys are getting the hang of this now. These are kind of more simple, these problems. Okay. Uh, now let's look at this. This one's a little bit different. So this has to do with power and energy. So we have a 9 volt battery here, 9 volts, uh, delivers a current of 0 0.5 amps. So it's going through 0 0.5 amps connected to its terminals. What is the power delivered to the motor? Okay, so now what we should know is power is equal to the current times the voltage. If we know this, we know that the current is equal to 0 0.5 amps and the voltage is 9. 
So what we're going to know is the power is equal to 4.5, and that is measured in watts. Okay. Now this part might be a little bit more confusing. It says, if the mortar runs for three minutes, how much electric energy is delivered? Okay, so this could be a little bit confusing. But what we should know is power is equal to the amount of energy used over a given period of time. So the power is equal to the amount of energy used in this, in this situation, electrical energy, over a given period of time. So we know 4.5 watts of energy was used. We don't know how much energy was used up, but we want to find how much it is in three minutes, which is also equal to 180 seconds. Make sure it's in seconds because watts is uh, in seconds here. So now we know that the energy is going to be 4.5 times 180. 4.5 times 180. And we get 810 joules. Whoops. 810 joules. Okay. All right, now let's look at this. A battery with an EMF, or that's the voltage of 12 volts, let me put that here, 12 volts, is connected to a 545 ohm resistor. Okay. How much energy is dissipated in the resistor in 65 seconds? So what we should know here is we should know that Ohm's law V equals IR. We know the voltage, it's 12. We, know, we don't know what I is, and we know the resistor is 545. Okay, now we can find out what the current is. So whenever you don't know what to do, just try to get as much information as you can. If you get the more information you, you can get, the more things should uh, play out for itself. So we can find that it's going to be 0 0.022 amps. Okay, that's the current. Now we can find what the power of this all is. So power is equal to the current times the voltage. So the current is 0 0.022, we just found that. The voltage is 12. So now we can find what the power is, times 12, and it's gonna be 0 0.26 watts. Once we know the power, now we can figure out what the energy is. So we know again, power is equal to how much energy is used over a given period of time. We know the power 0 0.26 watts, which is gonna be equal to the amount of energy over a given period of time, which is 65 seconds. And now we can find what the energy is, 0.26 times 65. And we get 17.17 joules. Okay? Depending on how, you, if you round it, it might be a little bit different, but that's what you should get. All right, last, sec last question for this part. A 75-watt lamp is connected to a 125-volt uh, battery. What is the current through uh, the lamp? Okay, so let's look at this. What we have is uh, power is equal to IV, power, 75 watt lamp, current, we don't know, voltage, 125. Now, we can find that 75 divided by 125, and we get 0 0.6 amps. So that's the current. Part B, what is the resistance of the lamp? So there's a few ways we could do this. I guess the easiest way would now be, uh, now that we know voltage, current, we can just find the resistance. So voltage, which is 125 volts, the current, which is 0 0.6. And now we could just find what the resistance is. And so we're doing 125 divided by 0 0.6, and we get 208.3 ohms. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. See ya.